a leading women's organization published a report about why women aren't moving up the corporate ladder. According to the report, everyone agrees that women are willing to do the work that's necessary to get promoted. However, there's a big discrepancy between the number of qualified women women believe are in the pipeline and the number of qualified women men and HR leaders believe are in the pipeline. When we dig a little bit deeper, we find that this discrepancy is because women believe that to get promoted, you need to be good at working the office politics. And this is right in line with the perspective of a lot of women's organizations, which is why we see them emphasizing things like female role models and having the right connections. So for years, we've been teaching women that if you want to get promoted, then you need to get a college degree and then get an advanced degree. You need to attend meetings and make sure you sit at the table. You need to socialize with your male colleagues after work. And the new trend is to be an activist for a social cause. However, men and HR leaders have a different perspective. They believe that to get promoted, then you need to be someone who gets things done. Most of us will experience working for a manager we think is incompetent. And every day as this manager makes her life difficult, we know they didn't get the job based on merit. We know it was office politics. So as women, we have to ask ourselves, do we want to be that incompetent manager that nobody respects because we got ahead based on politics? Or do we want to be the manager who is respected because we know how to get things done and we make the workplace better? If this is who we want to be, then we need to challenge ourselves and become someone our workplace can count on to achieve its goals and objectives. I consider myself fortunate that I began my career as a second lieutenant in the Air Force because as a second lieutenant, everyone dumps whatever work they don't want to do onto you, even if you have no idea on how to get it done. One of my assignments was to write the procedures to tear down, inspect, maintain, and repair the starter to a diesel generator for the Minuteman missile silo. We didn't cover that in any of my college classes nor did I take auto shop in high school. Today, women are being conditioned to see situations like this as unfair and to be outraged by them. So they miss the opportunity to challenge themselves. But I knew assignments like this were just a test. Are you someone who is going to run away from a challenge? Will you crumble under pressure? Or are you someone who will rise to the challenge, overcome whatever obstacles get in your way and prove that you're someone everyone can count on to get things done. Challenges like these also teach you to be a leader. So when you see a problem in your workplace, you step forward and get involved. As a leader, you know that you don't have to have all the answers. You just need to bring the right people and resources together so as a team, you can resolve the problem and make your workplace better. This is how you acquire the real skills that get you promoted, leadership and problem solving. This is what makes your manager and workplace value you so that they give you the pay raises, the bonuses, and the promotions that keep you on their team. This is Doc Callahan asking you to help me turn the woman in the room into the women in the room. Sign up for my newsletter, subscribe to my YouTube channel, or find The Woman in the Room on Facebook. It's up to you. Just keep watching and sharing my videos. To get advice from a woman who's been there, dealt with that, and knows what works.